Hey everyone, this is another rapid demo of Superbase and this time we're going to cover everything that happened during October from a possibly quite noisy WeWork, so bear with me if there's any background noise. And once again, I apologize for my microphone. I know everyone tells me that I need to upgrade it, but um, I haven't, so uh, bear with me on the microphone uh, as well. So the first thing I want to cover is actually three things. We have three new uh, logins. Uh, login providers. Um, this is largely thanks to the community. We have two new OAuth providers, both uh, starting with S. We've got Slack and we've got Spotify. So this is cool if you want to build some sort of, I don't know, maybe a Slack uh, bot or a um, music application, then you can use these. We've got some documentation on how to get started setting up a Slack uh, OAuth application and a Spotify OAuth application. And um, once you've done that, you just need to punch in the credentials here and you can accept logins into your application um, using these two. The third one is actually a phone auth provider. In case you didn't know, you can also set up phone uh, logins, so using SMS uh, logins. Previously, we only had Twilio, but thanks to the MessageBird team themselves, they have actually set up um, MessageBird logins. And we've got the docs here um, on how to actually create it within your MessageBird um, dashboard. From there, you just need to actually provide um, just two things, an access key and an originator. And from there, you can use MessageBird as the SMS provider for phone logins. So that's very cool. Please do check it out and let us know if uh, uh, you have any feedback. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to cover is multi-schema support. Now, in case you didn't already know, Postgres has this, a concept called schemas you can actually think of them like namespaces. Um, by default, you've been probably setting up your tables inside a schema called public. This is the default Postgres schema. And of course, we try to make everything sort of um, uh, just easy by default. And so we don't change the public schema. Um, the default schema is always set up in the public schema. Now, let's say I wanted to enable uh, multiple schemas. For now, I can set up a new schema within the SQL editor itself. So here I'm going to set up a schema called demo. I'll run that. And then I can start saving actual tables inside the schema. It's just the same. If I left this off, it would get set up inside the public uh, schema. And if I actually change this to be public, that is essentially what is happening by default. Now that I've got a new schema called demo, I can actually set one up here, demo, the table name is going to be employees and it's got three columns as you can see. If I run that, then uh, now I've got a table set up uh, inside the demo schema. Now the cool thing is we've got support for this within the um, dashboard itself. So here I can actually select this new demo schema and you can see here I've got actually employees uh, ready to go. Now this is view only for now so we're about to do a bunch more stuff where you can actually um, set up the tables but you can start using it to browse the data and the other thing is you can use all of the data or the new schema within your API itself. So if you wanted to separate um, you, you know uh, enable this within your schema fetch some data using your API all you need to do is come down to your settings inside the API, you'll see that now we've exposed which schemas are actually publicized. By default, of course, public is uh, already there and the storage schema, um, this is one way actually, you might not have known this, but we've already been supporting multiple schemas. Uh, all of your storage data is stored within the storage schema, but here I can actually enable another schema called demo. And by doing that, I can now fetch data from the demo schema. How would I do that inside the API? Well, we've got documentation for that as well. Just when you come to your, um, here is the reference docs for the library. When you actually initialize the JavaScript library, you just need to provide which schema you want. So here I would put options, schema, demo, instead of other schema. Um, you're probably used to seeing it like this without providing any options for the schema. So if you do that, it'll just point towards the public schema but you can be explicit here. And then 
this um, client, Superbase client, if you provide the schema, will be able to fetch any data from another schema. So multiple schemas is going to be important in the future. Uh, we're just starting down this track now. Check it out, try it out if you have a use case for it. Uh, if you don't, then don't worry. We'll be doing a bunch of stuff here um, that will be, make it very easy, uh, especially for things like uh, versioning, versioning your API. Lots of cool stuff coming here. Okay, the next one is going to be uh, detailed a lot in the blog post that I'll put in the link below. We've got a ton of new guides and videos. Um, we've got one on database functions, how to write database functions with some docs, a video. We've got an auth overview. We've really expanded our auth docs. We've got a um, new API um, uh, video and we've got a bunch of other quick starts. We've got a Redwood quick start. Our self-hosting docs have been expanded, uh, auth docs expanded, and then we've got this awesome checklist for going into production, things that you should do before going into production. Um, the next thing is that we did we were quite busy with community stuff. Um, Superbase was at the Jamstack Conf last month, and we we're also at the Next.js Conf. Um, we've got two videos here that you can check out, and we had a bunch of yeah community content produced. So um, this is all inside the blog post that I'll put below. Okay, so before we wrap up, I just want to announce one thing, which is going to be our next launch week. And this is about 20 days from now. We're going to have our third launch week. In case you're new to the Superbase community, we've done this three times already. Well, this won't be our third time. We had our first launch week in March, a second called launch week two, the sequel uh, in July. And now we're going to have launch week three, uh, post stress, if you don't know how to pronounce uh, Spanish, like myself. Um, but yeah, uh, there's obviously a pun on three, Postgres, something there's something funny in there i just don't know how to uh, explain it so um if you uh join us in 20 days we'll be releasing one thing every day for a week so monday to friday there'll be a launch on every single day um the big headline feature of course is going to be real-time row level security one of the things really holding us back uh, from uh, announcing or moving out of beta is making sure that our security is really top notch and so we'll be um yeah releasing this uh in 20 days the next one is of course some updates to our open source dashboard and a few other things which i think are going to be very exciting um so join us in uh on november 29th the best place to uh, follow along would be our discord discord.superbase.com if you come there you'll actually be able to follow along we jump on the discord each night when we're releasing things and so you'll be able to join us uh, on these announcements Okay, so that's all for this month. Enjoy, and we'll see you again next month.